Hey, thanks for tuning in to Race Screws. Just got home from uh, Target, picked up some stuff. I just went to the Sprouts Farmer's Market too. Nah, just kidding. When I go to the Hot Wheels conventions, you know, I like to pick up red lines from my favorite uh, fellow collectors. And I wind up leaving them in the bags just because until I get organized to make a video and put them away, I just keep them in the bag, all right? So I didn't buy these recently. Uh, I know these I bought at the 2017 convention. Here's a bunch of uh, red lines now. Uh, I picked up this year. I don't have a lot of Grand Prix models. So I picked up uh, multiple colors of various Grand Prix models. Let's see, where's another one? That's the same. Oh yeah, I might have picked up uh, something else. Oh, as a matter of fact, I think that might be Amanda's now that I think about it. Uh, I'm gonna have to ask her. Diora too. This one, this one might be Jeremy's. I'm gonna have to ask him. Act. As a matter of fact, that just dawned on me. Uh, anyways, so uh, I picked these up this year, and another reason why <laughs> I shouldn't wait so long to do these videos and to put these away, because some of them I kind of had already from a previous convention. Let's see what I have in here. Well, actually, it's all right because they're not the same. Uh, these are still in the blister pack. And here we have a Harry Holler. I'll open them up and put them on a turntable so you can see them better. Cockney Cab. Ah, uh, this might be from a couple years ago. This one, I believe, these were given to me by a fellow collector, Tom. I think his name Tom, Tom, Tom. Tom over there, uh, we met in Reno. Not in Reno. Lake Tahoe. He found out I was going to... Ah, what is the name? South of Las Vegas. What is that other gambling town? Anyways, here we have a Red Baron. Uh, these, I, I picked up some bad blisters because I'm going to open them. So I have a mint out of the package. I was thinking of doing a rip and race. Here you have Grand Prix. This model, uh, I get the na model names confused, so that's why I'm not saying the model name. I don't know which one that is. I would have to look at the bottom of one of these. Here we go. That would be the Lotus Turbine. I believe that's what it says. Lotus Turbine. Here's a sample of a different one. That's the one that I couldn't find a sample of in the loose one to the side. Anyways, have a look at the back of the package. I guess they're kind of hard to see, huh? Well, let me just use this one. In case none of you have seen a vintage red line package. This goes back a ways down here in the corner. It's going to be coming up. Here we have copyright 1969. So these might be released in 1970, actually. Copyright the year before. Right now, I'm filming this in 2018, 50th anniversary of Hot Wheels. These are the first uh, few years of Hot Wheels. They had these red line tires. They actually, have, the wheels are actually popped onto an axle, with a, and there's a bushing on the axle. Very different. Here's another carded sample. I might have picked these up uh, to open up. Oh, look, a flipper in the package. Oh, I just put that one loose. Got two of them. Here you have the Ford Mach 4, I believe is the name. Yeah, it's, uh, that's got a, definitely has a tarnish base, toning, tarnish, whatever you want to call it. I, I doubt that. Ah, I could have paid that price for this. I'm not sure. Oh, originally 99 cents. What's the name of that store? Crest? I'm not familiar with it. Oh, uh, there you go. What's up, Bubba? Got the sticker. So the sticker in the blister. The $85 price tag. Again, uh, this is from some time ago. I don't know how much I actually paid for it. But upside down in a blister, uh, might as well rip it and race. Got a bad package, anyways. But that would be need to do a rip and race. So many packages are not so bad. Uh, this one, you can't tell, but it's got a crease going all along the package. And I know people are going to ask, hey, where do I get those uh, red line package protectors? I don't know. I open up my stuff, so I, I don't pay attention to where you can get protectors. 
Sorry, I just don't know. Is that Mod Quad? Uh, I should look before I say. I do believe it says Mod Quad. 1969 copyright. Okay, let me get the turntable. And the ones in the package are going to stay in the package. But we can take a look at some loose samples. I had more in that bag than I recall. There's four containers uh, wrapped in tissue. I have no idea what's in here. So we're going to find out at the same time. Again, I have no idea where to get these containers. Sorry. Let's see. Uh, is it taped? Here we go. I don't know. Should be a red line, of course, packed like that. Let's see. Well, spent some money on this one. Let's see what's the... Uh, I probably didn't spend that. As you can see, they were uh, all four packaged the same way. So I either I probably bought these from Anita. So she tends to give a price a discount when you buy more than just one. Uh, that being said, I uh, still spent some money. This model is called the AMX slash 2, AMX 2. Might be a little hard to see. There you go, AMX 2, copyright 1970. So, like I said, more than likely it's a 1971. I hope that's focused. I thought I put this on uh, manual focus. Anyways, beautiful purple color. Uh, these actually might pop open a little bit. I'm just gonna let it be right now. People are gonna get mad. Redliners get mad when they see me uh, opening doors and hoods. They're like, yeah, you shouldn't do that, you could chip the paint. And you know, I'm gonna be putting them on the downhill racetrack anyway, so it doesn't matter too much to me, it's all right. Really nice condition. I don't mind spending the money to get a sweet piece like this. And uh, get, I'll get a couple colors of each uh, casting. So I thought uh, I'm probably not going to buy a whole lot of colors for that one. Let's see what this one is. Oh, I already knew because of the shape. Hey, check it out. Cockney Cab in a uh, green color. Has $90 on the base. Uh, you know, price is all relative. Relative on condition, color, rarity, whether it's U.S., whether it's Hong Kong, color of the interior, color of the windows. Uh, it's not my area of expertise, and that's why I don't talk about pricing for red lines for sure. Hey, look, they were even uh, saving money back then, putting uh, cutting out the... I'm just kidding. Metal body, metal base, red line tires... Up next, I don't know, it's got 125 on the package, but that does not, that might not mean what's inside. Well, it's a, uh, looks like a, well, red stripe wheels, but I thought it looked like it was red. Oh, here you go, here's another color sample of the AMX. This one in red. And while you're checking that one out, and see the condition, pretty good, pretty minty. Very nice condition. Only 45. Maybe uh, red's uh, more p common to find a red one. Uh, I don't know about the price. And I got one more. I'll take it out while you're checking out that one. I'll be going to the uh, convention in Dallas in April. It's sold out. I hope you guys uh, pop, bought tickets. If not, there will be a Sunday show. Uh, green cockney cab so that's what I do when I go to the convention I decide you know what I'm going to pick up a few color samples of some models that I don't have that many red lines so I went ahead and picked this one up and I remember the name of the fellow who gave me a couple red lines Tom Paul Fran he's the one who gave me this color of the cockney cab thank you very much. I hope you're doing well. And he also gave me the Harry Holler. Put this one on the turntable. Uh, this one, it's a little pocket rocket. It's pretty fast. It's pretty fast for a downhill racer. It's not going to beat a noodle head. It's not going to beat a sidekick. But for its size, it is very fast. And like I said, a lot of these I bought for downhill racing. 
I mentioned this Diora 2. Well, this one's not for me. This one's, I'm pretty sure this one's Jeremy's. So I gotta make sure I, uh, that's why I'm glad I'm doing this video now so that I can get him his red line. I bought him a red line and I bought Amanda a red line. He likes, he liked the Diora 2. So here I got him the original Diora. And for Amanda, I got her the, she picked out a VW Bug. And R.D., when he attends the conventions, he does not have a store, doesn't have an online or nothing. He just, he goes to collector shows and he sells. Has a whole bunch of cars. So R.D. gives us a nice price. I buy stuff from him every year. He gave, he knew this was for Amanda. He gave her a very nice price. And not only that, he can, he can even, uh, his price was cheap anyways. Uh, because the, it has a uh, opening window on the top, an opening sunroof. But you can see it has that little chip. You can see it has a very tiny chip out of that corner right there. Whereas the bottom is okay, but the top, it's got a little chipping. Well, you know what, for a display, this will look uh, very nice for Amanda's display. She also has an Evil Weevil, so this will look uh, very good next to that Evil Weevil. Uh, I've showed this open fire before. I showed it on Instagram when I made the purchase. Six wheeler. Uh, the wheel's okay. It was just kind of sitting off like that. Fantastic condition. Got a great price because, uh, yeah, look at that. It's got some type of uh, corrosion in the back right there. But otherwise, man, this thing is beautiful. Nice shiny chrome. And when I do a downhill race, uh, who cares if it's got the little blemish in the back? Don't, don't matter to me. Another six-wheeler. Here comes the six-shooter. Aptly, aptly named for its six wheels. I'm not sure this color. It might be called burgundy or plum. I'm not sure. I'm not good. This one, probably going to be called aqua. If not, I'm sure redliners or people who know can let me know. Here's another similarly colored I think it's called the hood. Let me check before I put it. No, short order. Sorry. I always get short order and the hood mixed up. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a... Uh, when I bought it, I asked if that's... A, I don't know if this piece pops off. Uh, I asked and they said this was original. Uh, I don't know. It better be. I bought it from a reputable person. A little movement to that. Now let's go ahead. And, uh, those are the better pieces. You know the uh, the cars that I talked about before. The Indy cars. Uh, that's not what they were called. I forgot what the segment was called again. Grand Prix cars. Yeah, it seems to me that they're not as popular as other red lanes. Uh, there is a certain demographic that likes to collect them. It just seems to be not as popular as other red lines. Nice blue color. This one's purple. It's got a little dinging on there. All right. By the way, when I can, <laughs> the people who sell red lines, they know me. I got to take them out of the package and I got to roll them. See how well they roll. Because I'm interested in it looking nice. But I'm more interested in it looking okay and it rolling very well. Uh, did I say this is the Shelby Turbine? Sorry if I did not tell you before. I should have put it on the screen anyway. Shelby Turbine. Brom Repco. Uh, and you know what? I've always been calling this the Brom Repco. But there's a B in it. So I don't know if it's actually called the Brabham Repco. I've always said Brom Repco. I didn't even notice that. Hey, look, it has black on the pipes. I don't know if that's supposed to be there. Um, by the way, of course, you're not going to put open wheelers in the boosters. But uh, what they had back then, they had like these side pods. Uh-oh, getting out of focus. I can't see the car. They had these side pods that would hook onto the car right here and right here so that it can work in a booster. Uh, you don't want to put open wheelers through the booster. So that's why they came out with the uh, side pods. Here's the Brab uh, Ham. I don't know how you say it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and move on to the Indy Eagle. You see, in the Hot Wheels, they would come with stickers in the packages. You can see 
Some young fan put the Hot Wheels sticker on the side. It's all right. Most people, if it has a sticker, they leave it alone. I don't think they take it off. Here's another color sample. I tried to get a couple of each. And as you can see, this one, it looks like the wheel's bent. But when I tested it in a room, I think it rolled okay. Besides, these old axles, you can use a uh, tune-up tool. And you can get in there and bend the axles a little bit and straighten it out. You can't do that with modern Hot Wheels because the axles are kind of thick. And they're meant to be thick, so when you step on it, it doesn't bend the axle. Uh, back then, we had a little tool so that we can stick the tool right there, right in between the wheel. And then you can kind of wait, 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 and you bend the axle, try to straighten it out. Here's the last red line, Lotus Turbine. That one has a sticker on there. The next one, uh, the kid went crazy. He's got stickers all over it coming up. I'm not sure if they're all authentic stickers or not on the next color of the Lotus Turbine. I'm going to show you the stickers. The number 70 on there. I don't know if these are all authentic stickers. Hot, there's the same Hot Wheels sticker. STP. STP. I don't, I don't know if they're authentic stickers. If someone uh, post a comment, let me know. I shall appreciate it. There's a nice uh, purple color. Mm, I think it's purple. I don't think. It's purple. It's not magenta. Magenta is more uh, more of a color like this, I do believe. Actually, I think this is magenta. So confusing, that's why I don't get involved and talk about colors and values. I just buy the colors. I just stopped filming, leaned over to turn off my uh, audio recorder. I record the audio separately. And guess what? It was not recording. So that means you probably had to listen to the clickety-clickety of uh, the turntable. Sorry about that. Anyways, I do have some other red lines in a red lines playlist. If you'd like to check out some of my other red line videos. In the meantime, buy what you like, buy what you can afford, and enjoy the hobby. If you like new stuff, buy new stuff. If you like old stuff, seek what you want. Bye-bye.